if you have a standard pressure pumping system and you don't have any water, there's a couple of things that you could check yourself. The first thing I would go check is the pressure switch. You can unscrew the little nut on top, usually it's just hand tight, and just lift the lid straight off and set it aside. Now, don't touch the wires inside of there, they're hot. I've turned the power off for this demonstration so that I can touch things and you can see what's going on. What we have right here are electrical points. They make electrical connection when this arm slaps shut. The way this works is that water pressure pushes up the tube underneath it and when the water pressure gets high, the points open and the pump cuts off. When the pressure gets low, the point slaps shut and turns the pump back on. Sometimes little ants or dust will get down inside there and corrode those points to where they're not making good contact. You can take a piece of fine sandpaper, fold it in half, open this up, stick that sandpaper between those points, let it slap shut, and work that sandpaper back and forth just a little bit just to clean those points. Make sure that you turn the breaker off before you attempt that. If that all seems to be working fine, you might turn your attention to the control box. This is a standard control box. One of the things that you can check on it are the overloads that are in the bottom of the control box. Now you can't see them, but underneath there, there are two reset buttons. On most control boxes, there are two reset buttons, just like this. They're red. Some control boxes only have one, and some have none. If you have a reset button, you can push on it to see if that kicks the pump back on. If you hear a definite click, you'll know that the pump was cut off for that reset. The other things that you can check are to check your filters to make sure that your filter is not clogged or to make sure that the valves are open to the house. That's all the things that you can pretty much easily check. If that doesn't work, give us a call. We'll come right on out and get your well back on. Thank you.